This episode is all about one of the most revered, feared, respected and iconic animals in the ocean. It is, of course, the shark. My name is Bertie and this is Borneo from below. Bang in the heart of the Coral Triangle, Borneo plays host to an incredible array of sharks. These waters are home to over a hundred different species, which help bring in nearly one million dollars every year in the form of dive tourism. I'm at Sea Ventures, a converted oil rig turned dive destination, to see shark tourism in full flow. Shark Special, I am joined by Mr. David Maguire of Shark Stewards, and we are off to one of the world's top dive spots to hopefully get up close and personal with some of these incredible animals. So David, why is this such an important area for sharks? Sipadan Island is a marine protected area. It's been protected from fishing for decades. So there are a lot of fish, a lot of large predators, a lot of pelagics. It's also next to deep water and a migratory pathway for pelagic species. So that's why hammerheads, other large sharks like to aggregate here. Right, let's get in the water. We've been here for less than five minutes. We've already seen sharks from the surface. As David mentioned, Sipadan is a pretty special place for sharks. The unique combination of deep water and oceanic currents right next to shallow reef makes this arguably Malaysia's top shark hotspot. Dotted all over the reef and out in the blue, Sipadan's most abundant resident shark is the white-tipped reef shark. Like all sharks, they pose little or almost no threat to humans. In fact, they're fairly skittish, which makes them a real challenge to photograph. Using these large pectoral fins to provide lift, a powerful tail for propulsion, plus streamlined anatomy and smooth skin to reduce drag, the sharks glide through water almost effortlessly. Occasionally coming in close enough to check us out before disappearing back into the blue. There were so many sharks there at one point. There must have been 20, 30 white tips just circling us and almost too many to fit in frame. And that is why Sipadan is one of the best dive sites in the world. Back on board, I got chatting to one of Sea Ventures' captains to see how dive tourism has affected him. Uh, sebelum saya kerja di Sea Venture, saya memancing. Uh, saya tukar pergi kerja di Sea Venture. So, jadi nelayan ni kadang-kadang ada gaji, uh, ada pendapatan sikit-sikit kadang-kadang ada uh, bukan macam di kerja di Sibinca gaji tetap maintain gaji bulan saya jadi kapten saya bawa pelancong pergi Sipadan pergi Kapalai uh, kasi tengok diorang banyak ikan kerja jadi kapten bagus So if you know where to go, all appears rosy for sharks in Borneo's waters. However, look a little bit closer and a very different story begins to emerge. You'd have to have been living on Mars with your head buried in a deep red crater to not know anything about the shark fin industry, but here's a quick recap anyway. A delicacy in Southeast Asia, but particularly China, shark fin soup is consumed as a symbol of wealth and prestige. 
The demand for this grisly, nutrient-deficient broth has led to tens of millions of sharks being killed every year. To learn more about the shark fishing and finning industry, David and I headed down to a local market. Fish markets like these are an all too common sight across Southeast Asia. What we found was fairly shocking. Over the course of their lifetime, a hammerhead would be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars in the form of tourism, but here, dead on a market, it might be worth maybe $20. So. When you're diving at Sipadan, hammerheads are pretty much the most popular fish. Whenever you speak to tourists, they say, right, okay, take me to the hammerheads. And now you see them here, dead on a market. It's a bit of a waste. I think it's important as well, Dave, to say that it's not a of the blame game. We're not actually saying to people don't fish and people are just trying to support their families. Right, I mean these people are working hard to survive and it's really the market. The market is driving the incentive to take sharks that normally wouldn't have been killed, uh, particularly the fins. I mean, if there wasn't a demand for shark fin soup, he wouldn't be having juvenile sharks here with their fins cut off. So it's definitely like consumer market driven and people are making money off that. The, the dried seafood traders. Mm -hmm. They don't care if it's a shark or whatever it is, sea cucumbers. They're making money off of it. So if the consumers are aware that we're overfishing the ocean for something we really don't need, okay. there's not going to be a market and these guys aren't going to be selling the fins because nobody's going to buy them. It's clear that sharks are under threat globally as a direct result of the demand for their fins. Thankfully, here in Sabah, there are people working hard to save shark populations on both a local and global scale. Hi there, my name's Steve Moore. I'm Samantha Sherman. We're here as part of Global Fin Print Project, which aims to use baited remote underwater video cameras or uh, bruvs. So the camera is uh, situated so it looks over our bait arm. At the end of the bait arm, we have a cage that's full of, full of bait. Uh, this will attract animals, which we will then capture on film. see the video. From this we can gather information on abundance of different species uh, as well as what species are using which types of ecosystems. On a local scale one dive operator Scuba Junkie runs an annual shark week working with the community to bring shark related issues to a wider audience. For this week? Uh, so for this week it's all basically about raising awareness about the plight of sharks, how important sharks are for the marine ecosystem, um, how it can eventually have a knock-on effect on the people that rely on the oceans here and really just trying to make a difference. With a jam-packed schedule and lots of enthusiastic volunteers, what better way to get a serious message out there than lots of fun activities? From beach cleans to dressing up, interactive presentations to a fair bit of partying. Shark Week is true conservation in action. Now all of the guys, nutters that they are, are swimming the whole way around the island to raise money for shark conservation. Sharks are incredibly important to marine ecosystems. As top predators, it's their role to regulate the rest of the food web, weaning out the sick, the stupid and the slow from their prey populations. Without sharks, the reef ecosystem will collapse one level at a time, 
causing catastrophic damage to our oceans and all that depend on them. Whilst progress is being made here in Borneo, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Now, I know it can be quite a hopeless feeling watching films like this from the comfort of your own home or office. So here are a number of simple suggestions that Borneo from Below would like to make that will help you to save shark populations. Number one, and first and foremost, do not eat shark in soup. In fact, don't even eat at restaurants that serve it. It's gross and it's pushing sharks towards extinction. Number two, did you know that fish and chip restaurants sell shark in the form of flake and rock salmon? It might rhyme with hake and have the word salmon in it, but let's be clear, these are sharks. Remember to ask more questions about where your seafood comes from, not just here, but in all restaurants. Number three, support sustainable shark tourism. There are plenty of places in the world where there are still lots of sharks. So get out there, get in the water, get diving, and spread the word before it's too late. And finally, number four, please share this video with your friends and family and continue to watch our adventures diving with sharks right here on Borneo from Below. There's catchers and there's white tips, there's leopard and there's grey reef, there's hammerheads and there's black tips, the Borneo shark family.